Hey you guys, welcome to the Redesign with Prima Facebook group, the place where uh, we like to come in and uh, teach you guys how to use all the Redesign with Prima products. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Leah and I am the owner of Leah Noel Design Co. And I'm a brand ambassador here at Redesign with Prima. And I'm just gonna X this out really quick so I can see your comments. Um, so if you guys are here, say hello. I can see that I'm live, but I don't see anyone here yet, so I'm wondering. Um, I might have to wait for post approval. So, oh, there we go. We got, we have somebody here. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, welcome to the, welcome to the group. If you guys are having trouble, if you guys are on my page, Leah Noel Design Co., and you're having trouble commenting while I'm live, if you go in and like the Redesign with Prima Facebook group, you should be able to comment. So I just want to get that out there. Hi, Tanya. I'm glad that you are here. Have you ever used um, a transfer on a flower pot before? Uh, let me know if you have. I have been using transfers on different materials this month. I started, um, what have I used them on? I used them on, last week we used them on tin, and that was kind of cool. We've used them on furniture, of course. I know you guys see a lot of that. Uh, but today we're going to actually use do a terracotta flower pot. So this is my terracotta flower pot. Okay, I picked it up at Menards, and it has many, many layers of paint on it. In fact, um, I may just distress a little through the paint. This has, I, I painted it in several colors. I'm just going to kind of hold it upside down because it's easier for me. But I painted it in several colors, and then I went over it with like a, a with dusty blue from Dixie Belle, a wash. And then I pulled a white color out from Dixie Belle. I don't know which one it was. Um, I kind of just have been painting this with scrap paint, but I have... I have some flowers, they're hot pink uh, on my deck and they're overgrowing the flower pot. So it's time for me to make a new flower pot for them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some sandpaper and I'm gonna distress this a little bit. And then we're gonna add a transfer. Now, if you guys can help me when other people hop on, let them know. We're either gonna use this transfer, you guys can vote, Ruby Rose, which honestly doesn't quite match my flowers. My flowers are hot pink. So that's, I was, I was gonna 100% for sure use this. But then I thought this peacock might match my hot pink flowers a little better, okay? Um, so I'm kind of digging the peacock, but I also really like the flowers. And um, so give me your vote. I don't know which one I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the flower. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I need you guys to help me. I am indecisive. Peacocks or flowers? And I also have a box full of scraps here, but nothing really notable that I want to use, except we do have this one, but I kind of don't want to waste it on that. <laughs> I have this one, but I would prefer to use this on. Oh, I guess I could use that. I guess it wouldn't be a waste, because it's, it's going to be pretty. Um, but I really like that scrap for like other pieces of furniture. Hi, Barbara. So I'm going to show you how, just real quick how to distress this. Tanya says the peacock. And I'm going to grab a sanding block from my stash. And I'm just, I painted this in many, many layers. So this is going to sand back really easy. Or it's going to sand back to different colors and different textures. So I'm just going to sand it back a little bit. You can see right here a little bit of that pink. And that's what makes it pretty. Flowers. Hi, Mika. I'm near Chicago, too. Okay, what? Oh, two votes for flowers, one vote for peacock. Okay, Ross, since you just hopped on, we're voting. Do we want to add Ruby Rose? Or... The peacock. With an S. Peacocks. All right. So, um, I'm actually going to grab a uh, tougher grit sandpaper. Dixie Belle doesn't always sand back easy because it has a built-in sealer. It'll sand back easy on like the edges, but. On top of here, it takes a little bit stronger of a grip. So we're just going to distress this a little bit so that some of my 
pretty colors are peeking through. This is like a rainbow. Bye, I love you. Um, so this is like just a rainbow peeking through. I froze up. Mika, see if you can go out and come back in if you can even hear me. I use Dixie Belle paint. Ross says Ruby Rose. I'm kind of leaning towards Ruby Rose too. I don't even know. I don't even know what I want. So I'm going to distress this edge here and I'm going to distress it back to the orange. and you can kind of see my green popping through. So, I mean, this thing was an ugly mess really until I washed my blue and white over it. But um, what I did is I just kind of like, I used like pink and green and blue and yellow and I painted my pot, my flower pot like, all over. And then I kind of took, I had some leftover paint from that table and I washed it over um, Mika, I am in Northwest Indiana, so I'm close to Chicago. I'm 35 miles southeast of Chicago in a little town called Griffin. So I'm just, I'm just dressing back to that terracotta color. And I'm going to do it on the bottom too to add interest. Can you guys see that on the bottom? Use blue and yellow flowers from the Ruzi. I'm going to just use the whole transfer. You know why? Because I don't want to cut it up. I just want to place it on. All right, we'll go Ruby Rose. Unless we have more votes for Peacock. What, what's the verdict, Roz? Miss Roz is here to kind of help answer questions. Um, she monitors my lives every Tuesday, and I'm super grateful. I just want some of that color to peek through. Let me show you. Do you see that color kind of peeking through? I have internet issues. You guys, hang on a second. Let me go have my kids turn the TV off. Okay, I opened, I opened the door and um, on my Wi-Fi, hi Silva. Let's see if that works. If that doesn't work, I will close out and I will post this video and then I will come back in and we'll just do the transfer. I noticed that a little earlier. My internet wasn't connecting well out here. Uh, but I don't know what it is. No one, no one's on the internet in my house. All right, so that's, that's about as distressed as we want. <laughs> I did, I disappeared. I don't even, okay. I can tell I'm delayed because your comments are delayed. So if you guys, I'm gonna clean this up and then uh, if you guys could tell me if my internet's a little better. The wind is blowing. It must be, I don't know. I've never watched.
watched the show. I know what show you're talking about, Bewitched, but I've never watched it. I always liked her haircut. Okay. So I'm just gonna brush this off. It's coming in clear for you. All right, Kelly, well, we're doing this for you. <laughs> All right, Roz, awesome. I'm gonna brush this dust off. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for letting me know. Hi, Lewin. So I just take, um, this is just a clean chalk painting brush from Paint Pixie. And uh, I'm just gonna, I don't paint with this one. I just really use it to dust my stuff off when it's necessary. So what is, we're using um, Ruby Rose, correct? That's what you guys wanted. We have the choices of Peacock, Ruby Rose. And I think we voted Ruby Rose. Okay. All right, let's use Ruby Rose because it looks like that's what it is. So what I'm gonna do to make this easier is I like to cut my transfers out and I'm gonna go ahead and just move this a little bit and come sit down here. And I'm just gonna cut my transfer out and I just find it's easier when I cut uh, when I do cut my transfers out because it's easier to place them. Um, I also want to mention that I really like that redesign with Prima, their transfers stay on the sheet pretty well. Like I can cut this out and the clear plastic is not going to fall off the backing most of the time. Um, which makes it easy for storing like transfer scraps and it also makes it easy because I like to, I like to take my transfers apart. I like to cut them up and I like to tape them on my pieces, not on a flower pot because it's small and it's kind of easy to design. But when I'm doing like a piece of furniture, I like to cut it out and then like place it on my furniture with masking tape and if you guys follow my stories on uh, Facebook and Instagram they're the same uh, at Leah Noel Design Co. If you guys follow them I, I show that a lot in my stories. In fact most of my tips, most of the painting tips that I do um, are in my stories. So if you guys don't follow those and you're like oh I want some good tips I just do them and they're quick. They're like five second clips. That's where I tell all my secrets. These scissors are not so hot. I always buy these. Um, I need to do a blog post on what I buy at the dollar store. I buy a billion of these scissors because I go through them a lot. They get lost. Okay, let's see. What do we say in here? Mika is working on a welcome sign. I'm putting a transfer on them. Well, the transfer stick on it. I was thinking of using um, Mod Podge before putting a transfer on it. It'll stick just fine to the welcome sign. You only need to use Mod Podge. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Um, you only need to use Mod Podge for fabric before on a transfer. Uh, for something like a sign, maybe I'm not. Uh, and like for a flower pot or a sign or like a metal metal you don't need mod podge only for like fabric so before i paint on fabric i use mod podge for fabric and i paint that on let it dry or you could just use paint paint's a good barrier um but for like a sign you don't need the mod podge in fact i'm gonna seal this with gator hide today so let's just do this i'm gonna find kind of the front i'm gonna find the part of the flower pot i like the best or the part that I want to cover up because this is um this transfer will cover up the paint. So I'm thinking right here. I think this is a good spot. It's smooth. 
not too much texture. Okay. And I have it cut out like this, so I'm gonna just wrap, I'm gonna wrap it like this. Can you guys see that okay? But it will stick on the wax paint. I don't know about wax, I don't know anything about wax paint. What kind of paint is a wax? Or did you, or if you use the wax over the paint, I think you just have to wait till it cures. I put transfers over wax before, um, but I let them cure for 30 days. Ooh, that would've been bad. Okay, so I have my transfer off, okay? And you can see, like, it's not, it, it's not see-through. Um, this is a pretty solid transfer. Once I place it on, it's gonna kinda cling. And in fact, if I touch it with my fingers, it's gonna stick to me almost like a temporary tattoo. So I wanna get this on, but I also wanna do it in a way where you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna just put up these right here. And I'm gonna just place it like this. I'm gonna start rubbing it a little with my hands. And I'm gonna use my transfer tool um, so you can also use like, this is a transfer tool from Redesign. I also, they come with a little stick. Let me grab the little stick in case y'all are new. They come with this little um, wooden stick and these work great too. I actually almost prefer these to this on rounder surfaces. Uh, I also saw the other day someone say that they use a wooden spatula. Okay, just making sure we don't have questions. If you guys ever have questions on these slides that don't pertain to what we're doing, um, please ask. Me or Roz can help you. Um, this is a great time to get answers to your questions about Prima products. So I'm just gonna use my wood stick. This, I could actually put this transfer straight onto a terracotta pot. I don't have to paint it, but actually this would actually look really pretty over just a terracotta pot. But of course I painted it. Now is the time I think to buy your terracotta pots because I bought this in the spring and it was $12 and I feel like that's expensive for a plain old flower pot. Flower pots are expensive though. For cute ones, um, these are. This is also a good, like, this. If you guys have a booth or something, these would be cute to sell in your booth. They're um, the transfers are great. You can use them for outdoors, but you do need to know that they will fade. They will fade over time. I don't care what you seal it with; it will fade over time. But I think with this look, the way it's distressed already, it's going to just look cooler as it fades. I'm glad we went with this because this transfer can actually, this one, as I'm looking at it, I think this flower pot will transition nicely into fall. So do you see how I, how I cut this transfer out? And so I don't have a bunch of bulky plastic right here trying to like push this down. That would make my transfer not as smooth. So that's why I cut my transfers out. It just makes them easier. I can visualize everything better and all of that. Let's see, love the background color, thank you. All right, let's see, Kelly. I need to know the best thing to use over a transfer to seal. I'm so worried about cracking or lifting, what causes that? Um, more liquid waxes, sealers. Okay, so let's talk about sealing transfers. So my sealer of choice for transfers, first thing you need to do, because if you're afraid of lifting, the most important thing you need to do is you need to make sure after you peel it off, you like you rub it hard with your hands. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Like make sure it is sealed, like it is adhered. Because what happens with 
Um, what happens, why they lift is because moisture gets underneath. So make sure it is adhered down well. Another great tip is to use a finishing pad to burnish it. This is a finishing pad. Uh, Dixie Bell sells these. You can get them at that link. And I cut mine in half and I always burnish it. And that kind of helps lift up and um, that helps take away any of the edges. It gives it a slightly a distressed look, but it really helps it um, to adhere to the paint better. Um, so burnishing it is a great way to help it adhere. But if you don't want the, a distressed look at all, just make sure you push it down with your hands. My number one sealer of choice is Dixie, or is Dixie Bell's Clear Coat Satin. Um, the Gator Hide, this is Gator Hide. The Gator Hide sometimes will, people, I've, I've had a lot of people have issues with the Gator Hide, using Gator Hide over it and it lifting. So my recommendation for you is to use the Clear Coat Satin and just the Clear Coat Satin. Now let's say that you, you're doing a bathroom vanity and you're like, Clear Coat Satin's not gonna cut it because you should seal your bathroom vanity with Gator Hide because it's gonna get more use than your average um, piece of furniture. You would use the clear coat satin first. I would use like one to two coats, make sure it's adhered down, wait a couple days, and then seal it with gator hide. Just put the clear coat satin on it. Other options are, um, does that make sense first of all? Let me know if that makes sense, and if it doesn't, I'll try to clarify. The other product I found that works really, really, really well over transfers is Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint. They're clear wax or min wax or like a, a wax like that. Dixie Bell's wax does not work well over transfers at all. So I don't recommend that. Um, their wax is just formulated a little bit differently than, than like the other waxes. I assume Annie Salon wax would be fine too. Uh, and in fact, on the transfer product labels, they say to use wax. I don't use wax a lot because I, I think that the this or this is more durable. and it's easier to paint over. I got a hair inside my transfer too. Hi, Julie. I really am glad we went with the Ruby Rose because I think it, I think it really complements the color of this, this pot. Has anyone seen these on sale yet? We need to like, that's what we need to be sharing in this group, all the good sales going on for like our craft projects for Michaels and Menards and Home Depot. Like when are these flower pots going on sale? Okay, I'm gonna start trying to peel it up and we're gonna see. So as I'm kind of going, I just, I try to just start peeling it up. If there's a spot, I just push it down or I know I need to adhere it better. And I should say right now too, if you guys are on my page, Leah Noel Design Co., um, I know my VA shares it to my page. If you're having trouble commenting, because I always get messages after, if you're having trouble commenting, if you go into the Redesign with Prima Facebook group um, and you comment from there, you should be able to comment to where I can see it. Um, but I get a lot of you guys that message me after and you say, hey, I wasn't able to comment. And that's why it's because I'm live from a group um, and it's shared to my page. So just go ahead and like the redesign of Prima Facebook group and you'll really enjoy being in there because they have all kinds, especially if you're into transfers, they have all kinds of great um, tips and people share their projects. You can share your projects in that group. It's a good group. Look at that, it's coming off nice. I have a little, there's a little piece right here that didn't come on. I can choose whether I wanna like, sometimes I don't even worry about it. I have a spot right here, it's coming off. My biggest suggestion to you if you're new to using transfers is just don't try to make it perfect. 
you know, do your do the best you can. Don't don't be too anal because that's when that's when it's frustrating and not fun. In fact, I usually just dress all my transfers because I like it better. I like the look of it, and I also think that it um, it just it's hard to get anything perfect, right? If someone was painting it on hand painting, it would not be perfect. Unless Llewellyn did it. <laughs> From Warren to Whimsy, it would be perfect. Big Lots. Big Lots has a great sale now. Thank you, Roz. I have a Big Lots right by me. I don't go into Big Lots too often. I have a Big Lots and a Joanne Fabrics right next door to each other. Oh, this one's, this is my favorite part right here. I just put gold leaf on. I do that too, Kelly. Kelly said she puts gold leaf over the imperfections. Yes. Gold leaf over imperfections is one of my favorites. I did that on my desk that's in my office because I put, if you actually, if you put painter tape, painter's tape over your transfers, it will pull the transfer off. Um, and I did that on my desk in my office and that's how I learned that. And I just gold leafed over it. And then I just seal it all the same way. All right, so you can see I'm kind of rubbing as I, as I pull it off. And this is good, now I can get rid of this too. I, I used this Ruby Rose Transfer last year and I've been saving I've been saving this for something special. I was hoping it would be, be a piece of furniture, but um, Redesign just keeps coming out with so many cool things. I, I do that. So this is what I mean about making sure it's adhered. Okay, let's, first of all, let's look at how cool that looks. Okay, that is way cooler than anything they have at Home Depot. So now we're gonna just go ahead and I can kind of see my paint coming through it. I'm just gonna rub it down really, really good. Um, I'm gonna seal this live, and I'm gonna seal it with Gator High. Normally, if this was a piece of furniture, disclaimer here, if this was a piece of furniture, I would put clear coat satin on it, and then I would put Gator Hide on it. But you guys see how I use clear coat satin a lot and I'm down to my last little bit and I don't wanna run out before I get my new shipment in. Um, so I'm gonna go directly on it with Gator Hide. You can go directly on it with Gator Hide, but like I said, be, be weary. It's a flower pot, so I really don't care if, um, I really don't, I'm not as concerned about it as I am furniture. And the Gator Hide's gonna be perfect protection for the outdoors. It also is gonna distress. It's gonna be outside, it's gonna be in a flower pot, it's gonna have water on it. It's not gonna stay perfect and it is going to fade, okay? And I think it's only gonna to add to the character of the piece. So I'm just making sure it's really well adhered and I'm gonna burnish it. I'm gonna burnish it with this, the finishing pad that we talked about. And um, a big reason why I'm gonna burnish it is because I'm gonna go directly on with the Gator Hide. So this is just really getting it down into the paint. You can also add the um, the decor waxes from Redesign with Prima, too, they hold up really well outside. I'm not going to use them on this because I want this to be more, I don't want any metallics on this. No, I don't gator hide the inside. Nope, I probably won't even gator hide around the lip. I'm just going to slap some gator hide around the body of it. 
and all this in here. Maybe I'll do it in here. I won't gator hide because it's going to have dirt in it. Sorry, my table's making noise. Oh, okay, so that's what I was talking about. Um, the redesign with Prima waxes do hold up well outside. I used, I did a milk jug last year. It's been on my porch and I put some of the iridescent waxes on it. And my porch is like, it's like covered, but it gets wet when it rains. Like it's got like a hood over it. I don't know what it, that's called. Um, you know, it's like built out to where it's like covered, but it's still outdoors. And, um, the redesign with Prima, the waxes, I used the iridescent ones. I think it was like the blue ice or whatever and I still see I still see it every time I look at that jug and it was sealed with gator hide and I don't know if I applied the waxes and then sealed it I can't remember okay so that is that's pretty secure so we're gonna go ahead and put our gator hide on um I usually use a blue sponge when I use do gator hide okay so I get these blue sponges at the link above, and I just like to mist it like this, okay? Get it a little bit wet. I will definitely have a picture, you know it. I will be staging it, and then we'll have a pretty picture on my porch with flowers in it. In fact, I'll probably put flowers in it before I stage it. And I'm gonna open my gator hide, maybe. And I like to, um, I like to usually, I, I'm gonna do this the right way. Sometimes when I'm live, I try to get in a hurry and I have to like slow down and be like, it's okay. So I buy these at the dollar store. These are just little mini shop glasses. They're very useful. And I use them like this. I just go ahead and I, I like to scoop my gator hide so that I keep my rim clean, okay? And I like to put it in a bowl. I know it's wasteful, but here's the thing. I don't want any of the paint particles or the transfer particles or anything to contaminate my gator hide. I want my gator hide to be so clean because I want, when I, when I use my gator hide, my top coat, I want my, I want it fresh and I want it clean. I don't want it contaminated at all. And I'm really only picky about this. About my top coats. So I'm just gonna, I'm just wiping my little shot glass off. I'm gonna dip my sponge in and I'll just go around the inside first. Why not? We have it all pulled out. Um, dip my sponge and then I'm just gonna go around the bottom. going to be easier to walk around. It's really, it's, it's, it makes, when you put the uh, gator hide or the sealer on top of chalk paint, um, it makes, it pulls those colors from underneath out a little bit. Ooh, it's so pretty. show the fading process in my uh in my stories no no slick stick you know why it's a clay pot um so it wasn't sticky it was matte it was a perfect thing to paint and it's held the paint really really well um in fact sanding it was difficult it is it this pot painted really nicely um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna wash my sponge off with hot water and dawn dish soap 
And I'm not gonna store this in a plastic bag. My tip for you guys when you're top coating is always wash your sponges out. Don't store them in plastic bags because that's how they get icky. This will last for a really long time if I take care of it properly. So I'm gonna go wash this out. I'm gonna come back in a half hour to an hour. I'm gonna put one more coat of gator hide on it and then I'm gonna go fill it up with dirt and I'm gonna put my flowers in it. Please remember when you're top coating that more top coats don't always mean more durability. Sometimes just you just need like one or two coats um, is really all you need. Sometimes if you build them up too high, they, they get gummy. So um, I will only do two top coats on this. We're gonna throw some flowers in there and we're gonna be, it's gonna be a beautiful flower pot. So if you're just coming on, let me just, let me see if I can lift it up a little. The transfer is Ruby Rose. Ooh. Let me turn out pretty. Um, yeah, and it adhered really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and go wash out my sponge. I wanna tell you guys, thank you guys for uh, joining me today. I will be here next Tuesday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time in the Redesign with Prima group. And if you guys have any ideas, you're like, hey, Leah, would you do this? Send me a message at Leah Noel Design Co. And um, let's see if I can add it to the list. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining. And we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.